Well, big news out of South Dakota. The Flandreau Santee Sioux Executive Council voted yesterday to ban South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem from its reservation. The vote means that all nine tribes in the state have passed votes banning Nome from their homelands following a string of unwelcome comments from the governor. ICT's Amelia Schaefer has been covering the story and joins us now with the latest. Amelia, welcome back. What's the latest in this ongoing dispute? Thank you. It's good to be back. Nome continues to have strained relationships with the state's nine tribes, and that grew yesterday with a tense session in Flandreau. Chairman Reader called an emergency meeting and then there was a long, hard discussion. Um, there was a lot of tension in the room, a lot of emotion in the room. Amelia, when did this all begin? So this first began on January 31st of this year, when Nome addressed the South Dakota legislature and discussed alleged cartel influence and cartel presence on reservations in South Dakota. And there have been documented cases of Mexican drug cartel and their presence on reservations before, but are they present on South Dakota reservations today? That is true. However, all of the tribes have denied knowledge of cartel presence on their reservations. On Friday last week, Governor Nome did cite a appearance that OST Oglala Sioux Tribe President Frank Starr comes out made where he testified that the cartel was present on the reservation, but there is no evidence so far, concrete evidence, that the cartel is operating. She's referenced incidents in both the Pine Ridge Reservation and Lake Travers Reservation, but when I spoke with the state's attorney, she said that this is, there is no concrete evidence that the cartel was involved. There was also some concern in Native communities that the governor said unflattering things about Indigenous parents. What was that? So on March 13th, during a meeting in Mitchell, South Dakota, where she signed an education bill, Governor Noem said that Native children are hopeless and their parents don't show up for them. And she said that tribal councils are more interested in politics than they are in their people. This is where a lot of the bans started to happen. The Oglala Sioux Tribe had first banned her in February immediately following that January 31st meeting, but a majority of tribes began banning her after these comments were made on the 13th of March. And what's the history there with Nome's relationship to tribal nations? You mentioned she's been banned before, but tell us more about the relationship there. Yeah, so Governor Nome was first banned after taking office in 2019. She was banned by the Oglala Sioux Tribe after she signed or supported increased um, penalties on Dakota Access Pipeline protesters. Following that, she opposed COVID checkpoints on the Pine Ridge and Cheyenne River reservations, which caused more outrage from tribes. And she continued to oppose things that tribes were putting in place, further straining their relationships since then. I want to talk a little bit more about yesterday's actions at Flandreau. Um, and the folks that you've spoken with, what was some of the, the emotional reaction to her being banned uh, from the Santee um, homelands? So it sounds like the council was divided on whether or not she should be banned. Um, there was a lot of tension because some tribes do need the state for assistance. Um, so the decision was not made lightly. Um, they were the final tribe to vote to ban Nome in the state of South Dakota. So this decision was not made lightly and it seems like it caused a lot of strain for tribal members. Uh, back in March, the governor showed up uninvited to a meeting between tribal leaders and the U.S. Department of Agriculture and their officials. Tell us what happened there. So there are quarterly meetings regarding Peshla, which is a sacred site in the Black Hills. Um, a few days after making those comments on March 13th in Mitchell and then later in winter that same day where she later claimed that tribal councils benefit from cartel presence. She showed up to a meeting regarding Peshla. She was not invited to this meeting and she did not let anyone know she was coming to this meeting. Um, the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe was especially upset because she brought news cameras with her. Um, I was told that no media was allowed into this meeting um, and this further angered tribes and this is what really made the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe decide to ban her following that appearance. 
After she was banned from other tribal nations earlier this month and last month, the governor did release some statements in reaction to those actions. Has she spoken out about this situation? The Pish Law situation? The Flandreau banning. No, not to my knowledge. On a press conference on March 17th, last, or pardon me, May 17th last week, she did address her banning and she once again said that she encourages tribes to banish the cartels. That, to my knowledge, is the most she's spoken about the bans. Um, she repeatedly has just said that she encourages cartels to be banished instead. We know right now that Christy Nome has a pretty high profile nationally, and she hasn't hidden her ambition for a higher office. Do you think that that plays a factor here? It certainly could. Um, last week during that press conference in Pierre, she mentioned that this stems back from President Biden and the Biden administration's handling of the southern border. So when I spoke with Chase Iron Eyes a few weeks ago about the matter, he said that this could be a talking point for her to launch her campaign off of. And this is something that she's really centered herself on ever since the 31st, is that the way that the border has been handled has influenced states like South Dakota, even though we're thousands of miles away from the southern border. Um, she's trying to make a point that the cartels have moved into South Dakota and that further action needs to be taken at the border to stop this. So that certainly could be a factor. Well, our viewers can, of course, keep up with your reporting at ictnews.org. Amelia, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.